Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name's Gavin and on this channel I help you get the most out of your drone and other tech that I review. So on this video I'm going to be talking about a new feature that was launched for the DJI Mini 2 within the latest firmware update as you can see on screen. So what this gave us is it gave us the ability to yaw the aircraft while we was returning to home. Now for some reason this was emitted on the DJI Mini 2 and the Mavic Mini actually had it from the start okay but now it's here so I'm going to talk about it in more detail and show you how it works. So what is it then? Well effectively I've seen some people suggesting and I have indeed done so on my video that it is a potential course lock hack if you wish. So effectively what you can do is you can fly your drone out, hit return to home, and you can still spin your drone on its axis while it's returning to home, giving you the ability to get some really nice panoramic shots, okay? I did actually cover this very briefly um, in a video where I reviewed the new firmware update and sort of demonstrated it, but I thought I'd give this a little bit of a separate video on its own and just show you the feature. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you a bit of a conclusion as to my thoughts on this process. So let's get into that now. So let's begin our flight out then, and we don't need to go too far for this. Um, it's not really a major issue, just to demonstrate what uh, I'm going to do with this little cost lock hack. So I wanna get a little bit more height than what I normally get in my videos as well, um, just to get that full panoramic um, effect. And you can see the gimbal um, is tilted slightly, the horizon is slightly tilted, but that's not to worry. You know, it's pretty normal uh, when it's a slightly more windy day and the drone is banking. So 287 meters will just about do it then. I think uh, we don't need to go much further than that. So let's hit that return to home. Okay, so let's go return to home now. And there we go. So what's going to happen now is obviously our flight isn't going to increase because we're already above our maximum return to home altitude. But as you can see, the distance away from home is coming down. So what's happening is the drone is now on a fixed lock return to home course. But yet after this new update with the Mini, we can now yaw and move the gimbal up and down and... Um, you know different directions and like I say simply you could use this to explore a point of interest if you wish and fly past a specific object um, so it does work really really well okay so that's it demonstrated in full now like I say I didn't want to carry the video on too long it's only a sort of short video really now this is a really really cool hack so say for example you was going past a famous landmark and you wanted to just make sure it was in shot at all times then obviously you could use this feature okay however sorry to be a bit of a killjoy now you know you do so at your own risk now this is on the dji mini 2 and of course i've already mentioned that the mavic mini has got this as well and what you need to remember is return to home is a safety feature okay it is there so if you lose connection or you do lose your orientation or anything like that you can safely return the drone home and then land it yourself that is how i use return to home functions and like i say if i do ever get out there and i do lose connection as soon as i've got a strong enough connection again i do manually cancel that return to home and fly and land myself okay safe practice would be to have the drone in control at all times and personally i do not think that while this is an absolute cool feature okay i'm not going to be somebody that recommends that you actually do it on a regular basis or indeed at all if you do choose to do this then please do so at your own risk don't forget the mavic mini and mini 2 have got no obstacle avoidance or even sensors whatsoever other than ground but of course they're not going to be in play when it comes to using this feature so please please be very very careful i can't stop you doing something like using this feature it is a cool feature but seriously is it worth losing your mini 2 for just to get those shots uh, it's up to you and you know I, I did actually do a second part of this video but i'm not going to bother showing it because it's irrelevant but i actually did a little course lock a little manual course lock uh flight where i just used the um I used the arrow function and the return to home map, okay, and just literally flew along the straightest line while you're in the aircraft, and it did work quite well, but 
you know, just practice your flying skills. And like I say, when it comes to flying skills, I do have a new video coming out very shortly, which will hopefully improve everybody's flight skills and I really want all of you to take part so this will be the second time that you've heard this so firstly I'm just going to do a little run of videos that's what's got I've got coming up and they're going to teach you how to edit using the DJI Fly app and then a quick editor using a PC as well just so you're well prepared for the challenge I've got coming up and I will be using the uh, Mini 2 or the Mavic Mini for this one I've not quite decided yet so thank you very much for watching, hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you again soon.